What's up everybody, welcome back. And today I was thinking about that video I did where I took apart my Alienware and did a repaste on it with some liquid metal. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty cool. Basically I had a laptop that wouldn't run any games because it got too hot. So I took everything apart and liquid metal in my CPU and GPU and it dropped our temperature enough to go from like one FPS in Overwatch to 60. So it was pretty cool. Check that out if you haven't seen it. But that got me thinking. So I bought my GPU in 2017, early 2017, which means it was probably made in late 2016. Um, it's an EVGA 1080 for the win. But we all know that thermal compound kind of gets crappy over time. So I was wondering if I could drop my temperatures just by doing a repaste. Uh, not with liquid metal, just with a normal, uh, we're gonna use cryonaut thermal compound. But that's what we're gonna try to do today. So basically what I've done is I've run two tests. I've ran a 3D Mark Time Spy and a 3D Mark Fire Strike back to back. And I have a, saw a steady fan curve. So I have the fan curve set at 60%. It's never gonna go higher or lower. And then I run those two tests. Then I set it to 40%. I run those two tests and I'm looking at the max temperature that GPU reached. Um, I have those numbers down, so now we're going to take everything apart, do a repaste, and do those same tests again and see if we're dropping any temperatures. Uh, maybe not, but I bet you if I took apart that 580 and replaced the thermal compound, it would help me out a great deal. So repasting is something kind of, you kind of need to do over time. It's not as hard as you might think. Um, it's actually quite easy. So we're gonna take a look at doing a 3D repaste today and see where it gets us. So let's get into it. So taking, uh, taking apart this specific GPU is actually quite easy. All we need to do is remove these four bolts around the die and then this screw and nut. And that's it. And then this back cover will come off and we can get a look at the die, clean it up, and get a repaste on there. Um, if you have a different GPU, it might be a slightly more difficult, but there's plenty of resources online in order to figure out how to tear down your GPU in order to do a repaste. So let's do it. So that's all there is to it. You got five screws and two fan headers, and you can get a good look at the thermal compound that was left by EVGA at the factory. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little, little crusty on the outside, but we'll repaste it and see if it gets any better. So to do that, you're, all you're gonna need is some isopropyl alcohol and a cloth to get the old stuff up, and of course, some new thermal compound to put down. So once everything's cleaned up and make sure there's no lint, it's gonna put a small drop of thermal compound on our die here. And when it comes to applying just thermal grease, it's your, your safe are going heavier than you are, not heavy enough. So always err on the side of caution. As long as it's not electric conductive, if you have a little too much, you'll be all right. But if you have too little, you're not gonna be all right. Okay, so we're back and everything's back in and working. So for the testing, just to reiterate, I ran Time Spy and Fire Strike back to back at a locked fan speed. So I did 60% and 40% and I took the max GPU temperatures for those two uh, percentages. So for the stock thermal compound at 6%, we saw 70 degrees Celsius on our GPU and with the new cryo knot, we saw 69 degrees Celsius, which is pretty much within the margin of error, not much of a change. For 40% fan speed, we saw 81 degrees Celsius on our stock thermal compound and 78 degrees Celsius for our cryo knot. We did drop a few degrees there, but really again, not much. So for a GPU this new, you really don't gain too much from uh, doing a repaste. But if you do start to no notice your GPU temperature slowly climbing up, this might be something you need to do. And to say, if you had something like that, that 580 up there, uh, I can guarantee you that you're probably gonna see much better performance if you do a repaste on that, much like I did when I repasted my Alienware. So again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe because every time I see a new person join the community, it is a great time. Uh, also like the video if you liked it and uh, if you want me to do some of the 580 let me know maybe we'll tear it apart but thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one